Hello! Welcome to LMC and Knowledge Lyrics Music Channel of Spiritual Insight and Wisdom that I will share to you so you can take along your spiritual journey. I hope you're having a good day, good night, wherever you're at. And whenever you see this, make sure that you're prayed up and in that light of Jesus. Okay? Okay. So, before we get into this message, I'll use my shamanic drum to cleanse the space, clear the energy, and we will go from there. So, the intuitive message I have for you guys today is you've unlocked past life knowledge to successfully direct you in this lifetime. You've got the answer key, okay? So, when I was when I got these downloads and when God was saying like you have the answer key, I was feeling like sometimes I feel the the future thoughts and comments of certain souls you know and with that being said i know certain people are like you know with god you don't you know you gotta expect the unexpected no you don't know everything i'm not saying that you know everything but i'm saying you got you got a cheat code and it's within you don't doubt it because if you don't feel like you have it right now it's because you haven't tapped into it but our souls know the mission our souls know the plan, but our mind might change our decisions. It might change our path. Our temptation and distractions might change your path. You know, um, impulsiveness could change your path. Um, overthinking could change your path. Um, not taking action can change your path. Um, so you got to look at those things before like you just completely shut off and say, no, I don't have the answer key. You do. You have to unlock it, you know, if you don't feel like it's unlocked. Um, but I'm hearing like you listen to the elders or something like that. Like it was somebody who given you some information that you have been taking and you remember. It. It's like certain words that have been spoken to your spirit. It comes back up at the perfect time is what I'm hearing. Your meditations have gained you sacred information about your life. It's like, or, or you're reading books, certain books or something, um, has unlocked a realm of higher consciousness. Um, and it's like when you're reading these books or when you're meditating, the, there are certain beings, highly spiritual beings that flood your spirit with wisdom. I'm hearing nature speaks to you. Water speaks to you. Fire speaks to you. Uh, Mother Nature speaks to you. The moon, the stars, the sun. You have a deep communication with God's creation. You are aware of the consciousness of the planets, plants, animals, insects. Your spiritual path number is way higher than your life path number. So people don't talk about our spiritual path. Because, yes, we're on our life path, but we also have a spiritual path. Um, and your soul is over a million years old. Some of you, I'm hearing 10 million years old. Some of you, I'm hearing 22 million years old. Like, your soul is has been created before time even existed. Um... Yeah, before they could document anything, honestly. God only knows the specific length uh, or lifespan or God only knows, you know. But, like, people cannot document. They can't tell you. No human can tell you the exact time your soul was created. It's like... um 
You're tapping into a deeper, more advanced spiritual form of yourself. And your physical body is going through shifts. Your body is going through a purge of old cells and energetic and energies to receive new. And you go through this major purge every five to ten years, depending on your con your consistency, my bad. Depending on your consistency to welcome this new evolution of your soul and consciousness you have the power to control the weather you have an earthly influence also a spiritual but it's like you can control the climate that may be few for few of you guys um now i'm getting this matilda movie um, even though she was doing telekinesis, I definitely feel like you guys have that. Don't I got a um star star brother or star sister? His name I think it's a boy. I think it's a male. I think it's a man. Okay, his name is telekinetic or something like that. This is definitely for you if you know who I'm talking about. It's this is definitely for you. Um. But yeah, the Matilda movie on how she was able to influence the school, the building, the room, moving things around. I'm hearing something about your anger and how it can actually, you can manifest through your anger, but you can, you specifically can manifest positive outcomes through your anger because it brews up this, this fire. And with fire, you can easily manifest things through fire. So... Uh, how, you're asking me, how can you do that? How is that possible? Because you're shifting the, the frequency. As soon as somebody makes you really mad, like you 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 feel that energy building up. The energy, not the words you say, but that feeling you feel in your spirit, in your body, in your mind, in your throat, in your gut, wherever you feel it. Once you got it, take that and say, ah, oh, I can't, I manifest this. Uh, I manifest or I can't wait till I'm in this mansion or I can't literally think of something that you want and literally send that intention out through that energy that's being built up. So I'm here transmuting, literally another form of transmuting. You can transmute your anger into a positive manifestation. Sometimes it's hard for people to do that because when you're mad, you're just mad. You're just you can't consciously think, oh, let me manifest this real quick with this energy. And it's not nothing negative because once you say you're, you're irritated, right? That the energy, you got that, right? And then you say something positive, combating that energy. That's transmutation. And you're going to get whatever you want faster. Ah, I manifest $10,000. You know, sometimes when you're like, because you know, sometimes you have to fake it till you make it when you be like, Say you're insecure with something in your body and you're just like, I love this part of my body, but your spirit is like, you lying. You don't, we don't feel it for real. You know how you say certain prayers and you're like, thank you God for my food. Thank you God for this. Thank you God for that. But then you say, you start crying. Thank you God for this. I love you so much, God. Thank you so much for like just showing more gratitude, more energy is what I'm trying to explain to you. So when you have that, very like somebody for instance somebody who's really really mad right they're so mad that they want to take somebody's life and then taking somebody's life that's them using their power for the worst outcome ever but like i said you can change the energy just like how somebody be so super irritated and you know how to calm them down and you or sometimes people can be so mad and you can just make them laugh and it shakes the energy off right so, um, yeah, that's really cool. Um, you will activate what am I trying to say? It's, it's in my head.
you will activate your this um I'm so sorry. I'm it's like this word. I'm just really trying to find it within my brain again because it was just in my head. Oh, you, you, well, it's not this word, so I'm going to have to just say it like this again. The answer key that I'm talking about, this blueprint, this, this, um, oh, I'm just seeing somebody being able to spiritually see the divine outcome for the entire earth, right? So you're able to like, okay, this event's going to happen in 20. 25 this event's gonna happen here okay i need to move my family over here i need to tell these give these people this message before this happens like you being super having super hyper i don't know how to explain it but it's just like i know a bird's eye view can see certain distances certain you know certain perimeters and stuff but like one bird can only see that specific part so i'm seeing you as something that can just like scan the whole earth like your spirit can scan all of the information from the earth and align yourself to the earth's destiny but with you having being able to tap into that you have to tap into your deep seated awareness there's a certain awareness that needs to be activated within your spirit for you to be on that, that, that type of, like, I swear, you're, you're unstoppable. Like, one, you either already are doing this or already have access or you're about to have access. You're going to tap in. I swear, nobody, I'm hearing, can nobody tell me nothing? You can't tell me nothing. I know that's from the dude who worships Satan and stuff like that, but I'm just hearing, I get messages from everything, okay? I'm just hearing, can't nobody tell you nothing? Like, once you talk, who, who teach you who? I can teach you, but it's not even trying to be cocky or anything. It's just like the comprehension level on a worldly scale is just like, it'll take people back. Like, how do you know this? Like, you're going to be, you're the one who's going to be like, I told you so. I tried to warn you. That's how you gonna be in this world. What the heck? Ooh, let's get a card. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Tea leaves and foresight. So, I'm seeing you being being able to, ooh, see future events through like simple signs, simple. Like, this is, this is simple. It's just tea. Like, somebody like, I'm going to make some tea. And then they drink it all, and they left the herbs and stuff. They're like, oh, my tea bag broke. And then you're like, wait, wait, wait. Don't throw away the tea. Don't, don't pour it out yet. Let me see it. And then you're able to read messages through that. You're able to read, read messages through candle. Like, I see, I'll be seeing this lady, and she gets, like, these candles, and she puts it in the water. And then, like, once the candles, like, go into the water, that's some sage, burnt up, ash of sage. But, um, she would burn it in the water, or let it drip in the water, and it would, like, form things. And she could read messages in that. You can read messages through clouds. You read messages, you interpret messages through numbers. You interpret messages through music. You interpret messages through pictures. Um... You interpret messages through a lot of shapes and um, a lot of things. Like, your form of communication is so out of this world. But like I said, foresight, being able to see the future. And I just said that. I literally just said, you know, being able to see the events and being able to warn people. So this, uh, now I'm seeing that movie, uh, Coraline, how... The when she went to the other world, um, they were giving her messages. Well, no, not the people from the other world, but she had she was going back and forth in between worlds because she was just claiming that she wanted better parents and stuff like that. And then, um, 
she went back to these ladies houses who had like a whole bunch of dogs and every time their dog died they would like hang their dog up on the wall and they had so many dogs but anyways they were drinking tea and then they gave her a message and they were just warning her about the other side that she was going to every night and it's just like that's who you are you're going to be able to help people ahead of time you're going to be able to really save people's lives with your foresight but yeah that's what i got for you guys today i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video peace